George David Birkhoff was an American mathematician, best known for what is now called the Agodic Theorem. Birkhoff was one of the most important leaders in American mathematics in his generation, and during his prime he was considered by many to be the preeminent American mathematician. His house in Cambridge, Massachusetts, has been designated a National Historic Landmark. Personal life. He was born in Overizel Township, Michigan, the son of David Birkhoff and Jane Gertrude Droppers. The mathematician Garrett Birkhoff was his son. Career. Birkhoff obtained his A.B. and A.M. from Harvard. He completed his Ph.D. in 1907 on differential equations at the University of Chicago, while E. H. Moore was his supervisor. He was most influenced by the writings of Henry Poincaré. After teaching at the University of Wisconsin and Princeton University, he taught at Harvard University from 1912 until his death. Awards and honors in 1923. He was awarded the inaugural Bocca Memorial Prize by the American Mathematical Society for his paper Birkhoff containing, among other things, what is now called the Birkhoff curve shortening process. He was elected to the National Academy of Sciences, the American Philosophical Society, the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, the Académie des Sciences in Paris, the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, and the London and Edinburgh Mathematical Societies. There is a mathematics prize named after him. Service Vice President of the American Mathematical Society, 1919. President of the American Mathematical Society, 1925-1926. Editor of Transactions of the American Mathematical Society, 1920-1924. Work. In 1912, attempting to solve the four-color problem, Birkhoff introduced the chromatic polynomial. Even though this line of attack did not prove fruitful, the polynomial itself became an important object of study in algebraic graph theory. In 1913, he proved Poincaré's last geometric theorem, a special case of the three-body problem, a result that made him world famous. In 1927, he published his Dynamical Systems. He wrote on the foundations of relativity and quantum mechanics, publishing the monograph Relativity and Modern Physics in 1923. In 1923, Birkhoff also proved that the Schwarzschild geometry is the unique spherically symmetric solution of the Einstein field equations. A consequence is that black holes are not merely a mathematical curiosity, but could result from any spherical star having sufficient mass. Birkhoff's most durable result has been his 1931 discovery of what is now called the Agodic Theorem, combining insights from physics on the Agodic hypothesis with measure theory. This theorem solved, at least in principle, a fundamental problem of statistical mechanics. The Agodic Theorem has also had repercussions for dynamics, probability theory, group theory, and functional analysis. He also worked on number theory, the Riemann-Hilbert problem, and the four-color problem. He proposed an axiomatization of Euclidean geometry different from Hilbert's. This work culminated in his text Basic Geometry. In his later years, Birkhoff published two curious works. His 1933 aesthetic measure proposed a mathematical theory of aesthetics. While writing this book, he spent a year studying the art, music and poetry of various cultures around the world. His 1938 Electricity as a Fluid combined his ideas on philosophy and science. His 1943 theory of gravitation is also puzzling. Since Birkhoff knew that his theory allows as sources only matter which is a perfect fluid in which the speed of sound must equal the speed of light. Influence on hiring practices. Albert Einstein and Norbert Wiener, among others, accused Birkhoff of advocating anti-Semitic hiring practices. During the 1930s, when many Jewish mathematicians fled Europe and tried to obtain jobs in the USA, Birkhoff is alleged to have influenced the hiring process at American institutions to exclude Jews. 
Burkhoff's anti-Semitic views and remarks are well documented, but Saunders MacLean has argued that Burkhoff's efforts were motivated less by animus towards Jews than by a desire to find jobs for homegrown American mathematicians. However, Burkhoff took a particular liking to certain Jewish mathematicians, including Stanislaw Ulam. Giancarlo Rota writes, like other persons rumored to be anti-Semitic, he would occasionally feel the urge to shower his protective instincts on some good-looking young Jew. Ulam's sparkling manners were diametrically opposite to Burkhoff's hard-working, aggressive, touchy personality. Burkhoff tried to keep Ulam at Harvard, but his colleagues balked at the idea, selected publications. Burkhoff, George David, 1913, Proof of Poincaré's Geometric Theorem, Trans, Amer, Math, Soc, 14, 14-22, Burkhoff, George David, 1917, Dynamical Systems with Two Degrees of Freedom, Trans, Amer, Math, Soc, 18, 199-300, Burkhoff, George David and Ralph Beatley, 1959, Basic Geometry 3rd ed., Chelsea Publishing Co., Reprint, American Mathematical Society, 2000, ISBN 9780-8218-2101-5